Hi, my name's Kurt, I'm from Chorus, and I'm here to answer some of those technology questions around Gigatown. You know, what is the technology that's going to be driving Gigatown? Well, in the downstream direction, it's one gigabit per second. That's the peak speed that you'll be able to download stuff from the internet. In the upstream direction, it's 500 megabits per second. That's half a gig. And those two speeds are fantastically fast compared with what today's broadband works at. So we're really excited to see what people are going to do with it. The technology is called GPON, Gigabit Passive Optical Networking. And as the name would suggest, that will deliver speeds of up to one gig per second. And that's just what we're doing with Gigatown. Beyond that, we have a really solid roadmap, roadmap to make your speeds even faster. So in the future, we may even see 10 gig speeds and 40 gig speeds to your home. Peak speed is really the key important thing, is you want the speed when it's there. Our job is to make sure the network supports your peak speeds whenever you need them. So contention ratio is really about how we do capacity planning, making sure we always have more capacity than what is needed at any one moment in time. I mean, in Chorus, we have a very simple rule, never to contend the network. We have a very simple 80% utilization rule, so we make sure our network is never getting congested. And each ISP, each player in the global internet ecosystem will have their own capacity planning rules, contention guidelines, and it's up to everyone to you know, work collaboratively to ensure that the internet from your house to wherever the content you're accessing is going to work and deliver you that peak speed when you want that peak speed. So another key thing about Gigatown is it's not just fibre to the home and fibre to the business and fibre to the school and fibre to the hospital, but it's also fibre to the bus stop, fibre to the traffic light, fibre to the cell site, fibre to the Wi-Fi hotspot, fibre to anything out there that needs bandwidth and connectivity. And this is a real trend we see occurring all around the world, smart cities. They're connecting all of their infrastructure in the city together to give social and economic development opportunities for the entire community. So we've had some questions about international connectivity and international bandwidth, and the more international bandwidth there is, is always going to be better. But it's mainly for those applications and services that you use from overseas. For example, if you are having a video conference with someone overseas, then international bandwidth is very important. But if you're having a video conference with someone in New Zealand, then international bandwidth is not particularly important. Um, other examples are most international content that people in New Zealand access is actually cached in New Zealand. I mean, I've heard figures of 80% content being cached. So the chances are when you are downloading a YouTube video or when you are um, downloading a software upgrade for your iPad, those files will actually be served by caches located in ISP networks in New Zealand. And so international bandwidth is important, but only when you are doing international things. On the other hand, a gig connection to your house benefits everything you do. It doesn't matter if you're connecting to the global internet or you're connecting to the New Zealand domestic internet and just sharing with people in New Zealand. Your gig connection to your house is always going to be a benefit. Providing caching as close to the end user as possible is, is going to improve your performance. For ISPs to pair with each other and to exchange traffic with each other locally is also very important. And that's how the internet works faster, is when everyone works together, connects together, and places the content as close as possible to the end user. So Gigatown is a great opportunity for content providers. We know that your connection, your gigabit connection to the internet, 
will not be a bottleneck. And that means content providers are completely free to make their content as rich and as large and as luscious as possible. So it's fantastic, it doesn't matter if it's digital media, videos, whatever it is, there will be no barriers to how lush you can make that content because we know the connection will support it. So Gigatown is a great opportunity, the first town in the Southern Hemisphere to get one gig speeds. We're expecting that to go really well, so we will be looking to roll one gig speeds out nationwide.